Adding email marketing automation will save you hours sending out emails to each individual person that fills in a form. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a basic email automation sequence. All right, let's dive in and let's get started. So for this to work, you're going to need two plugins. The first one is called Fluent Forms. The second one is called Fluent CRM. So I'm using both pro versions here. The links to that is in the video description below. All right, so let's start by creating a basic form. So we're gonna come over here to Fluent Forms and then click on Forms. Now I'm gonna use the default form that comes here as the demo. So if I click here on edit, it's going to show us what fields we have and pretty much it's the first name, email address, subject and the message. But if you want to add more advanced fields, we have all the check boxes, drop down, radio fields and so on. But we, we just can keep everything very, very basic. All right, so now that we have our form, we might as well just add it onto our page. So I'm gonna come over here and click on this short code of now that I've copied it, I'm just gonna to come to one of our pages on our website and short codes work with pretty much any page builder, by the way. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here, choose two columns, and I'm just gonna go for my text module here and select it. Next, I'm gonna come into this area here and paste my form. I'm gonna save that. Now, I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna go in and style this. This is just the basic layout. I'm gonna click on Exit Visual Builder, save and exit. So this is the form that people are going to come in and fill in, okay? Next, we need now to set a tag because we want that when everyone signs up for this form or fills in this form, we tag them so that we can activate our automation. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm gonna come to Fluent CRM, click on the dashboard. So at the moment, there's nothing on the dashboard because we don't have any data. Right, so we wanna add a tag. So I'm gonna come over here, hover where it says contacts and then click on tags. So our tag can be created by clicking on create tag over here and we can name this whatever we want. So we can say new customer and then click on create. Next, we need now to go to our automation. So we're gonna come over here to automations and click. Now let's create a brand new automation by clicking here on create new automation. Now there are so many ways to trigger our automation here. So let's just give this a name. So we're gonna say new customer like that, and then we're gonna click on new form submission. We're gonna click on that and then click on continue. Right, so the next step now is to just make sure that we map all our fields. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna select the form. We're gonna click on this drop down, and the one we need is the contact form demo. I'm gonna select that, and we're just gonna match our first name, last name, and email, because those are the fields that we have on the form. So I'm gonna click on this drop down, choose name, and then choose last name here. And then we're gonna match the email by selecting email. Everything else is off, is fine. And then I'm gonna click on save settings. So now it's say, telling us this is our new customer. What do we need to do next? So the first thing is we want to add our action. And the action here is to add the tag that we've just created. So let's find apply tag and it's right here. I'm gonna select that. And now let's choose the tag. Now remember, I've already created it. So I'm gonna click on this drop down, and my tag is new customer. All right, so I'm gonna click on save settings. So when someone fills in that form, they're going to be added a tag called new customer. Next, we're going to say wait for a few minutes. So we're gonna say maybe five minutes. Make sure this is set to minutes. And then we're gonna save. And then we're gonna send an email. So we're gonna come over here, send custom email. So our subject line is thank you for contacting us. So we really wanna customize our greeting here. So we're gonna say hello. And we're gonna come all the way here and choose our first name. And we're gonna paste it like that. And now it's time to add the body of our email. So I'm just gonna copy some dummy text from here like that. We're gonna paste it. And let's pretend this is the content on our email. Now I'm gonna scroll all the way down and click on save settings. Excellent. So now we have this automation here. We're just gonna add one last step. But before I do that, I just wanna show you that we also have other options here. We can apply this customer to a list. We can remove tag. We can uh, add a, a webhook. We can do split testing. You know, we can do quite a lot. Look at this. Now, if we had WooCommerce installed, we could have even more options for WooCommerce. Perhaps maybe you want to thank someone for buying a specific product, let's say product A, but you also want to give a discount for product B. I mean, this is an automation that you can create using Fluent CRM. All right, so now that we have all that, I can just end my funnel here, and then I'm just gonna click on save settings. Now, at any point, 
if you want to see the stats and how this is performing, all you have to do is to activate stats and this will show you how many people here are filling the form, how many got the tag and so on until this is complete. Now over here, we can activate this. This means that this is now public and we can also view the reports by clicking that and you can see all your stats here. You can see the step report. You can also see the email analytics. Now this information here is super important because it tells you how your emails are performing. So as you can see, just using one tool, you're able to get all this data and you can make informed decisions on what you need to do moving forward. Now let's finalize this tutorial by coming back over here. So this is now ready, it's done. You don't even have to do anything. All you have to do now is to come over here to our form, fill in this form, and this will kickstart our automation. Now at any point, if you want to go in and see what is happening, just click on, just click on the automation and you will see everything here. So as you can see, this is a pretty basic automation. I'm pretty sure your clients will be very impressed if you were going to set up something like this for them. I mean, this is amazing. It will save you a lot of time. I've actually emailed more than 2 million emails using this system. I've been using it for about two and a half years now. I've never gone back. So it's very, very affordable, very, very cheap. Now, this was a quick tutorial, but I'll be doing even more tutorials showing you the advanced uh, use cases of how to use Fluent CRM. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.